Hello and welcome back to Oak Clef Kinder. Today we're going to learn Cheers for D chords. Woo! First we're going to start with a blocked chord in the left hand. So let's find our hand position. Left hand one is going to be on A below middle C. This is middle C. And you see I have my third finger already adjusted to F sharp. Adjusted meaning not F natural but a half step above F natural, which is F sharp. And I play one, three, five for three beats, D, F sharp, and A. And I do the same thing in the right hand. Here's my right hand position. Right hand thumb is gonna be on D above middle C. Three is on F sharp, five is on A. That second space in the treble clef. And we have this blocked chord as well. Two, three, let's try those first two measures again. Two, three. One, two, three. The next thing we'll do is cross the left hand over, and we're going to have the same chord, D major, in the left hand crossed over. Let's practice that. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Same thing with the right hand. We're going to take the thumb to this D, one, two, three, four, five, D6, and this will be our last chord, and it says right hand, 8VA, do you see where it says 8VA? Right here. That means that we play this chord, this triad, an octave higher than written. As written, it would be right here. But because it says 8VA, we're going to play it an octave higher. Let's practice that first line together. Ready? Two, three. One, 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 two, three. Nice job. In the second line, we have a broken chord. See, it says broken chord. So what that means is we're going to play those notes separately, the same notes from those triads that we had, the D major triad, just separately, D, F sharp, A, as quarter notes. Left hand crosses over, and we have a solid triad at the top. Let's go ahead and practice that second line together. Nice job. Make sure to hold the last triad for three beats. This one is also an octave higher than written. Great job. Let's try this from the beginning. Smoothly. If you have a pedal, there is a pedal marking underneath. It says to hold the pedal for the entire two uh, lines here. So if you have a pedal, you can hold the pedal down for these two lines. If you don't have a pedal, don't worry about it. One, two, Two, three, broken chord. Solid triad. Nice job, how'd you do? We're gonna practice the same thing with C major. So we're shifting to C chords, meaning that we're shifting the left hand thumb down a whole step to G. Three will be on E, and five will be on C, C3. Right hand thumb will be on middle C, three is on E, and five is on G. Nice job. We're going to have a blocked chord first. Left hand starts. One, two, three. One, two. Cross over the left hand. Three. Let's try that again. So what I did in that third measure was I crossed the left hand over the right. And then I took the right hand in that fourth measure and I played an octave above written. C major triad. Let's try that first line again. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did with D major, and we're going to have a broken chord at measure 13, which is the second line. We're playing those notes separately. Five, three, one. Five skips up to three. Three skips up to one. And we're skipping to the right hand thumb. Basically, this is called an arpeggio. Left hand crosses over. Solid C major triad at the top. Let's try that again. Nice job. Let's go ahead and play from measure nine. Ready? And go. One, two, three. 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 If you want to try that a little slower, please do so. Parents, especially when your child is crossing their left hand over, make sure that they know that they should get there sooner than later. I'll show you an example. Two, three. One, two, three. Now, if my left hand isn't prepared, I'm going to have to either jump really quickly or I'll be late. My left hand travels as my right hand plays. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two broken chords. Nice job. As always, this program is brought to you by Mr. Piano from Oakleaf. We really appreciate you spending the time practicing with your kid and make sure that they have their hand position correct, they keep their fingers on the keys, and to practice this slowly first. It might take some time to get used to three adjusted to F sharp, or even switching this, shifting to C major. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Do not hesitate, I'm very responsive. And I'll see you next time. Happy practicing.